Our first big building winner back in 2008 was a rather extraordinary building, slightly unexpected. It was a building for the Luigi Boccioni University in Milan. Nothing remarkable about that, you might think, but actually from our point of view, it was a very, very interesting choice uh, by the super jury, chaired by Bob Stern, because this was a design which had itself been an international competition winner. So there was a certain comfort factor in that, quite apart from us choosing it, other people had thought it was pretty good anyway. But the global nature of this was that it wasn't by an Italian architect, it was by two Irish architects, uh, based in Dublin, Grafton Architects. So here we had a competition winner by a practice operating in a country other than where they completed their design. Uh, and the design itself, in some ways, was quite 1960s. Big volumes, lots of concrete, a very strong building in relation to the street, and probably not to everybody's, uh, not to everybody's taste, quite austere uh, in a way, but very well considered and pretty popular. It was a close run thing between that building and a building by Snow Hetter the new opera house and concert hall in Oslo. And on the jury there was a very interesting discussion between Cecil Baumond, uh, the, at the time the, the, the great guru engineer from Arab, and Charles Jenks, the uh, apostle of postmodernism um, and uh, thinker and observer about architecture for, for five decades now. Uh, they had a problem with the opera house and it all related to the fractal nature of the design and where it sat in relation to individual geometry on the one hand and then the geometry of the skyline and the mountains and the geographical context. It was a fascinating debate. Grafton Architects came out as the winners.